first thing we're going to do is we'll add an image. So I'm going to go to and I'm going to download these images basically. So I'll start with Netflix logo download and I'm going to paste that under the images folder. So Netflix logo. Uh, let's download a couple more. I'm going to need the Netflix background download. Save as Netflix background. Okay, now got next Netflix background. Let's have one more. So go back. We have Narcos logo. Go back. Narcos logo. Got all of that. Now in order for me to use it, uh, all I have to do is just import. So what do we want? I want the uh, Netflix. Okay, I have to go one step out. One more step out. Then I'm images. Narcos logo. Then I'm going to paste a bunch of content over here. So this just div with a class of user profile, user name, and then the image. And then this is just going to be path up until here. So I make sure you have import. Okay, you need Netflix logo actually, not Narcos. Netflix logo. Make sure you import it because if you don't import it, Webpack is not going to output that into the images folder. Because remember the Webpack configuration. We've set up a rule inside of a module saying that output this in, inside of images uh, with the name and extension. In order for Webpack to actually output that, we do need to uh, import it. Once you import it, it's going to be available in slash images Netflix logo.png. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. You can see that you've got this image is being shown over here. In the inspect element, you can see that you've got this image and open new tab you can see this image is available now of course you can't see that here because i have not run the build but if you did npm run build or it's, it's called prod actually the script name is prod but that runs the build for you now you can see that it's outputted the images inside of images directory and that's from there's a from as well sources source folder images so if you go back and say, I'm gonna close this source images. Then it's not outputted everything, it's only outputted the one you've imported, which is Netflix logo. And now that's your image inside of Dist, right? And that's your Netflix logo. Awesome. So it's working great. And it's available at slash images slash whatever that image name is here. Okay. Awesome. So we've got a header ready, which is great. Uh, next thing I want to do is add the hero section. So header is ready. We can close the header. We need to create another component called hero because it's going to be on all the pages. That's why we're keeping it inside of layout. And um, I'm just going to copy this, paste it here, uh, rename this to remove the layout. We don't need that. And Okay, so on this, we're going to need the logo, Narcos logo. So we'll call it as, uh, there's another way of uh, using an image. So I'm going to teach you that as well. So Narcos logo from images, Narcos logo.png. So remember that in the header, we just directly imported the image, right? And then we just use the URL, correct? The second way of doing it is import it as a name, you know, named import. And then when you create the image, just use it. So I'm going to paste uh, a bunch of HTML over here to save time since you already got, you guys already in a groove uh, of writing. So notice that it's basically a div ID hero class name, another div. This is your image. I should have an all text. Uh, you are using named import. Instead of putting a URL over here, you can directly use this uh, image. Okay. And that would also work. If you hover over it, you can see that it's also showing a preview of that image, which is pretty great. IntelliSense. You have got a heading, some paragraphs, some button. Doesn't do anything just for demonstration purposes. And then you're also going to need the Netflix background image. So <clears throat> I'm going to import 
Netflix background image from oops images background image okay and it's just an overlay style background that's it so now since you've got this hero you just need to include that inside of your header so go back not header actually you need to put that in the layout so go over here inside of layout and put hero that's it save it go back congratulations you can see that you've got content over here from hero section you've got background image do an inspect element check it out overlay you've got background image maybe in open a new tab there it is it's already been serving great and you've got the hero section with the content and then you've got the header also which is this this one logo navigation user profile perfect great okay i think we are doing pretty well uh home page topics awesome